Welcome to NERSAT Satellite Channel in Tel Elmir TV. Let's begin with the following headlines. His Majesty the King, Jordan will not become a battlefield and will not allow the lives of its people to be endangered. Cardinal Pizzabella calls on the faithful and religious communities to join in a shared prayer for peace. Father Manuel Badr has been awarded the rank of Knight of the Holy Sepulchre in recognition of his contributions to the service of the Church. Welcome back. His Majesty the King emphasized the necessity of exerting maximum efforts to de-escalate tensions in the region and to reach a comprehensive ceasefire to avoid sliding into a regional war. He stressed that the region will remain vulnerable to the expansion of conflict threatening its stability as long as the war in Gaza continues. His Majesty reaffirmed that Jordan will not become a battlefield and will not allow the life of its people to be endangered. He warned of the dangers posed by extremist settlers' attacks against Palestinians in the West Bank and violations of Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. His Majesty reiterated the need to find a political horizon to achieve a just and comprehensive peace based on the two-state solution, and it is the only way to ensure the security of Palestinians, Israelis, and the entire region. On the occasion of the Feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, His Beatitude, Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins, issued a call for prayer for the achievement of peace through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. He expressed hope that parishes, religious communities, and pilgrims present in the Holy Land would unite in a shared prayer for peace. He said, months have passed since the beginning of the war, and the suffering caused by this conflict continues. It even seems to be growing with increased hatred and resentment, which heightens the violence and moves us further from finding solutions. His beatitude added, it has become difficult to envision an end to this conflict, which adversely affects the lives of our people more than ever. It is also challenging to find individuals and institutions willing to engage in dialogue about the future and work towards building peaceful relationships. Bishop William Shomali, the Patriarchal Vicar General for the Latins in Jerusalem, conferred the rank of Knight of the Holy Sepulchre upon Father Manuel Badr, thus welcoming him into the Order of the Holy Sepulchre in Jordan, Palestine and worldwide. During the homily at the Divine Liturgy held at the Sacred Heart of Jesus Latin Church in Tla'al Ali area of Amman, attended by a number of priests, nuns and a large congregation, Bishop Shomali called on those present to live out the virtues of love and charity. He noted that the cross holds a special significance in his celebration, as its readings are derived from the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. Bishop Shomali concluded his homily by reflecting on the meaning of the exaltation of the cross. Father Emmanuel is a priest of the Latin Patriarchate who has served parishes in Jordan and Germany over 40 years. His appointment as a Knight of the Holy Sepulchre was in recognition of his contributions, services, and both material and moral support to the Church and the parish. Through an annual course offered by the Office of Christian Education in collaboration with the Ithra Training Center, 54 educators from the General Secretariat of Catholic Schools in Jordan and several private schools completed a yearly training program at the Our Lady of Peace Center on Airport Road in Amman. The course took place in an atmosphere of constructive reflection and genuine self-awareness. After two days of brainstorming and intellectual engagement, the educators received their certificates from Father Tariq Abu Hanna, Director of the Office of Christian Education. Father Abu Hanna wished them all blessings and success in nurturing the future generations. In a new episode of the program, Aynun al Mashraq, hosted by Father Nabil Haddad on Nursat TV, titled Our Participation in Political Life, Mr. Ramzi Khouri, the political and media advisor, was featured. The discussion covered a range of topics, including the Royal Committee for updating the political system, the discussion paper presented by His Majesty the King, the concept of a civil state and democracy, as well as the laws concerning political parties and elections. Additionally, the conversation explored how to prepare the infrastructure for the political process in the Kingdom. With extensive Jordanian and Arab participation, Minister of Social Development Wafa Bani Mustafa inaugurated a conference on women's participation in political life. In her opening speech, Bani Mustafa emphasized the role of youth and women in the development process and the necessity of creating a legislative and political environment that guarantees their involvement in public life.
She pointed out that the state is committed to empowering and supporting women to play an active role in community building, ensuring equal opportunities based on justice and fairness, and protecting them from all forms of violence and discrimination. The Minister of Social Development also highlighted that one of the most significant reforms in the political system is the adoption of amendments to the election and political party laws, which aim to empower women by increasing the number of seats allocated to them. In a step reflecting the spirit of solidarity and cooperation among different segments of society, the St. Joseph Charity Association was inaugurated in Beit Sahur with the presence of several bishops, priests, and a gathering of local residents. The association aims to support low-income Christian families in the Bethlehem Governorate and to meet the needs of the community amid current financial and economic crisis. The role of the association also highlights its efforts to encourage Palestinian Christian youth to remain in their land despite the challenges. It seeks to strengthen the bonds of brotherhood among the youth and extend a helping hand to those in need, following the teachings of Christ. Christians in Gaza are facing dire conditions due to the ongoing conflict in the region, which has led to the suspension of medical clinic and some services managed by Caritas in Gaza. The greatest challenges include the prevailing security situation, difficulties in movement and coordination, as well as the spread of epidemics and pollution of water and air. The Christian population in Gaza is declining, with around 350 Christians having immigrated from a total of approximately 1,000. Caritas has confirmed that the situation of Christians in Gaza is extremely difficult, and many are seeking refuge in the Church of the Holy Family for Latins and the Church of St. Porphyrius for the Greek Orthodox following the targeting of the areas where they previously lived. Despite this, the church of St. Porphyrius was bombarded by Israeli aircraft, resulting in the martyrdom of 18 Christian refugees inside the church, in addition to 10 individuals who are still missing. In the presence of His Grace, economist Irene Simdanat, head of the Marriage and Christian Family Office, the first lecture of the 24th session of On the Rock of the Lord program took place in the Saints Constantine and Helena Hall at the Annunciation Church in Abdali. The session saw the participation of approximately 30 engaged couples. The course, which was attended by His Excellency Bishop Christophorus Atalla, the Greek Orthodox Bishop of Jordan, included contributions from Father Ignatius Khalife and Councillor Samar Tadros. They emphasized the importance of both partners having a clear vision for married life, understanding each other's interests, priorities, and responsibilities. Trainer Khalil Wahab continued the session with a valuable spiritual talk on personal dynamics in marriage. Following him, Councillor Samar Tadros discussed the theme of an unbreakable bond. His Beatitude Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins, congratulated the Kingdom's students who succeeded in the General Secondary Education Tawjihi exams. In a message addressed to them, he said, With hearts full of joy and pride, we congratulate you on your success and excellence at this important stage of your lives. You have been a model of dedication and perseverance, and your success is the fruit of your efforts and hard work. We pray that the Lord blesses you and guides your path in your, all your future steps. The Ministry of Education has completed its preparations for the new academic year and the procedures related to welcoming students to government schools next Sunday. The Ministry has finalized the student reception procedures, book deliveries, and the distribution of classrooms and teaching staff to schools. The Ministry indicated that the books will be distributed by no later than the 25th of this month after ensuring that all schools are equipped with the necessary school furniture. It also noted that private school students will start their classes on September 1st. The Ministry will determine the number of students transferring between private and government schools after the end of the transfer period, which is two weeks from the start of the academic year. It is noteworthy that the total number of students in both government and private schools is approximately 2.5 million. Mr. Michel Sayer sponsored the opening ceremony of the 44th annual bazaar organized by the Orthodox Scouts and Guides of Amman, held at the group's headquarters in Jabal al Wabdi, Amman. The opening was attended by economist Irene Simdanat and Alexius Kakish, representing His Excellency Bishop Christophorus. The bazaar, which lasted for several days, featured handmade crafts, recreational games, delicious food, and valuable prizes. The event was held to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the group's founding. With widespread participation from Catholic youth, the youth activities in Baghdad under the theme, Thing, Discern, Decide, concluded successfully. The events began at the Church of Our Lady of the Annunciation in the presence of His Beatitude Cardinal Louis Rafael Sacco. In his speech, Cardinal Sacco addressed the ideas preoccupying today's youth, encouraging them 
to consider vocations to their priesthood and religious life. That was followed by a presentation of the core aspects of celibacy, marriage and consecration, including their social, psychological and spiritual dimensions. The program included sharing experiences related to these topics to help the youth reflect and discern in order to make the best decisions for their lives. The speakers emphasized that our youth need guidance and support to form a clear vision and make the right decision in light of God's word and the teachings of our Lord. And with that, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcasts. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. His Majesty the King, Jordan will not become a battlefield and will not allow the lives of its people to be endangered. Cardinal Pizzabella calls on the faithful and religious communities to join in a shared prayer for peace. Father Manuel Badr has been awarded the rank of Knight of the Holy Sepulchre in recognition of his contributions to the service of the Church. For more details, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day and see you again next time.